Uh, can you say your name? Say my name? Yeah, your name. Uh, my name is Sartorius. Sartorius? Is that your last name? Yeah, my last name is Sartorius. Okay. My, my first name is Stephen. Stephen? With a PH. With a PH? Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. My parents were affluent. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that the thing? I didn't know that that was the thing. Uh, it's, a, it's a more upper class version, or, or, or so it's okay. said. I mean, anybody can name their student. They're Stephen any way they want to, oh. but it seems to it seems to be the corollary that, that with a PH is from a more high brow sort of inclination. Well, we're not in America right now. Where are we? By all means, we are not. <laughs> where are we? We are uh, we are on we're on Station Solaris. Okay. Which is uh, which is floating in uh, it's an atmospheric orbit okay. above. Uh, Above the the ocean of Solaris, the plasma ocean. Okay, and what do you do here? What do I do here? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a scientist. I'm a researcher. Okay, and what so, are you working on? So I, I'm not. Uh, how long have you uh, have you been with us? I, uh, oh, time is is very difficult I, to measure. Yeah, well, there I've noticed that there are what like five days in in like one 24 hour period it's, here it seems to with be, the yeah. blue and the red sun well, we have the, the the two suns exactly the right the blue and the red sun and it does throw off the diurnal with them really sure really, because the body does want to be on that 24 hour sort of clock you know and i've done a couple of interviews since i've been on the station i think it's oh, been really? about yeah. four days well i talked to dr snout mm -hmm. and to um chris kelvin already chris kelvin yes um and I, can't I can't imagine where he found time in his busy schedule to talk to you. <laughs> Is he very busy? Do doing so many things. Yeah. Time. Oh. Uh, yes, huh. especially with his um, with his uh, his ex wife as I as I've come to. Oh really? Yeah. Is she on the station? Uh, well, a, a replica of his ex wife. Oh, okay. that, that's um, what I was getting to. Is these um, uh, you may have uh, have have noticed that there are. There are other entities aboard this this station, other mm. than um, the three personnel that are supposed to be here, which is myself, uh, Doctor Snout, and now Chris Kelvin. Okay. Kelvin uh, Gabarian uh, tragically was lost mm. to us. Um, he succumbed. But um, 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 but as you may have noticed, there are more uh, there are more entities at uh, that. Uh, that inhabit this station. Mm -hmm. as it were. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I didn't notice that. Well, uh, Snout, uh, Snout has decided to call them visitors. Okay. Because it sounds uh, a bit more innocuous, mm -hmm. you know, really. But they are. Uh, they, they seem to be um, emanations from the planet itself. Okay. Uh, and uh, and we. Oh. Uh, wow. You were about to say. Oh, from here. No, uh, I just. I, I, I know it's, it, it is a, it, it can be a lot to take in at first, but um, it, it was a quite a sh quite a shock to all of us when they when these um, visitors first began to appear. Um, it what but as far as we've been able to establish, uh, these creatures are uh, beings, uh, manifestations, entities, whatever you want, what have you, uh, that have been sent to us from the planet. Uh, for for one reason or another, and this is uh, this is where the science does get a little bit fuzzy. Really, is uh, the, the planet uh, has been able to um, has been able to access our, our our brain patterns and our brain emanations. We we hypothesize that this takes place during sleep because okay. it's the time that we're most docile and le least likely to um, respond in any sort of uh, aggressive or um, non-receptive sort of way. Hmm. I'm still trying to figure that out. 